Hi guys, greetings of the day, myself Vijay Tavadhan and in this video lecture I am going to show you how to solve a problem on projection of plane surfaces. And the example problem is like this, an equilateral triangular lamina of 25 mm side lies with one of its edges on HP, the lamina makes 45 degree with HP and one of its median is inclined at 40 degree to VP, draw the projections. Now for which one can understand a triangular lamina of 25 mm side has to be created and it is resting on HP and the surface is parallel and on HP and the lamina makes a 45 degree to HP and the median is passing is inclined at 40 degree to VP. Now so how to solve this problem let us discuss. Now make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.13 one can draw an XY line initially and after drawing an XY line then again using a line command with the thickness of 0.5 let us construct the side resting lamina for which one has to construct the side length as 25 and then angle should be minus 90 degree and again the side length is 25 then just move the cursor towards the center now it will trace the uh, tracking points and then just complete the triangle like this now one can verify that the all the lengths are 25 mm if anybody is having any doubts make use of angle between command and measure the angle if there is any doubts then make use of a smart dimension command show that this dimension is 25 millimeter then make use of a text command here let us mark it as x and this point as y and we are to mention this is a vertical plane and this is a horizontal plane because we are discussing the projection of plane surfaces using the first quadrant only then using the text command one can name the corners and this corner I am going to name it as A this corner as B and this corner as C now all these three corners should be projected till the XY line use of a line command now the B dash as well as the B as well as A will be projected up to XY line and C is also projected up to XY line and after this using a thickness of 0.5 mm we must complete the front view that is joining these two endpoints. Now, this point is going to be marked as B dash and the A dash is inside the bracket. And then at this position, we have to mark it as C dash. Now, this completes the front view in all aspects. Now, the front view, the lamina is inclined at 45 degree with HP. Now, how to do it? Now, select the front view completely in such a way that the both the lamina as well as front view should be selected. Make use of a command called as move. One should move the point is with respect to a B dash and it should be positioned anywhere on the XY line using a point on element symbol. And then one can make sure that using a rotate command, we know that point B dash should be on XY line. So select B is on XY line and C dash should be shifted and C dash should be shifted at an angle of 45. So enter the angle as 45 degree in the clockwise direction and press the left click of the mouse. Now one can see that the line is rotated at an angle of 45 degree. Make use of angle between command show that this lamina is inclined to HP at 45 degree and then to get the top view one can use a line command with the thickness of 0.13 starting with the right extreme corner C dash move the cursor towards the corner C and get back to the vertical position it will trace the point connect C to C similarly connect B dash as well as A dash properly using this alignment indicators now one can say that the projectors has been completed after completing this projection using a line command or the text command first name the corners and this corner is going to be A this corner is going to be C B and this corner is going to be C make use of a line command with the thickness of 0 0.15 millimeter then with A as starting point B and then join C and get back to position A now this completes the constructions now as of now we have solved the problem with respect to surfaces on HP and inclined to HP at 45 degree the next condition states that one of its median is inclined at 40 degree to VP as of now we are not constructed the median so now make use of a line command one must construct the median here the median must be initially parallel to XY line so let us consider this as the median now the median point what I am going to get at this point is going to be M dash make use of a text command I will call this as M and accordingly this will become M dash which is inside the braces and then here this point will also become M dash and then I am going to get the M point here. Now the median is inclined at VP to 40 degree. Now make use of a line command with the thickness of 0 0.13. One can construct the median line here. Now the angle is given as 40 degree and so let us make this angle as 40 degree. After making this angle as 40 degree now one can understand that 
one can understand that the length of mc here and the length of mc here will be different for which make use of a command called as distance between measure the distance between m and c which is measuring as 21.65 and here the mc has to be measured now you can see the lengths are slightly reduced because of this reduction in length and the given angle is called as true angle so this apparent length cannot be constructed on true angle so one has to measure the apparent angle before the completion of a problem now how to construct an apparent angle now we know that make use of a line command sorry make use of a point command then using a thickness of 2 millimeter one can create a point here anywhere on the x y line now that point i am going to call it as m that point i am going to call it as m now after which go to a command called as arc by center point with 0.13 as a radius now this m as the center one has to get the end point symbol there now m as the center the first radius must be taken as 21.65 which is nothing but the true length now we shall draw an inclined line here and after drawing an inclined line make use of a line command next whatever the 21.5 mm arc we have drawn with the help of that one one has to draw a locus of that point and after drawing a locus of the point once again go to an arc by center point command select the point which we have created earlier and that has to be selected by end point symbol then again the arc length must be equal to 15.31 millimeter now whatever the 15.31 millimeter arc we are going to draw one we have to once we have to complete that arc over that after creating one more arc now one can join the line from the new arc end point to the point m what we have created then make use of angle between command angle between the newly drawn line and x y line is going to be the beta angle which is measuring as 65 degree now this is the point of m and this is the apparent point of c and this is the point of m and this is the true length of c now true length of mc is on 40, 40 degree line and the apparent length of mc is on 65 degree line now one has to select this front view properly then go to a move command move with respect to point m using the midpoint and then m has to be positioned exactly on the m position and then go for rotate command rotate in such a way that m has fixed and c should be obtained on the new point wherever we have marked it now the rotation has been completed now make command with the thickness of 0.13 millimeter join with the right extreme uh, corner to xy line and b to xy line as well as m to xy line and then the remaining corner point will become c and c is at a height of this location using this alignment indicators one can connect c to c dash then using the text command and name the corners this corner is going to be the a dash and this corner is going to be the b dash and this corner is going to be e m dash and this corner is going to be c dash now using the text uh, using the line command with the thickness of 0.5 millimeter one can join this a dash to b dash and b dash to c dash and c dash to a dash now this completes the solution for the given problem thank you guys for listening this video and please kindly share to this all first year engineering students and also subscribe to my channel thank you guys